Good evening to you. I'm CBS 47 meteorologist Justin Sager. A wintry storm impacting our area right now. We've got the first band of wet weather that's moving through the Central Valley. It will be followed by stronger bands of rain and perhaps some thunderstorms even as we get to midnight tonight with scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. The snow's been pretty steady in the mountains. Right now, we're looking at light showers from the El Nido area to Los Banos and all the way here to Chowchilla right now. So along the 99 from Merced to Madera is where we've seen this. This is a Caltrans traffic camera in Madera where you can see some uh, headlights there reflecting off the roadway. Same thing with this Caltrans camera at the 99 in Herndon, but just barely starting to get some radar returns in this area showing showers close enough to Fresno. It still has to make its way through a very dry layer here on the valley floor. And then this is our camera up at Meadow Lakes. So the neat thing about this is pinpoint Doppler radar starting to detect some of these snowflakes and if they're being pushed by the wind with the way this camera works in night vision mode you're actually looking at this almost like a time lapse or a freeze frame of snowflakes passing by here's where toll house is so meadow lakes points this way it's right on the edge of the snow level yes low snow levels right now. We're looking at them to fall to some 2,000 feet through the night tonight, which is why you see all this cool air that's just on the edge of the foothills and the valley. That will lower again tonight. Your solar forecast from renewable solar will actually lower over the next couple days too because we'll have all this cloud cover and rain blocking the sun. Pollen forecast from Dr. Amon Minion and the Allergy Institute stays low through the next four days while air quality has improved immensely. Lots of fresh air coming ahead of this cold front and we are going to see this front arrive in a major fashion as we get to midnight tonight. You can see here's 1115 Merced Los Banos getting the heaviest showers, thunderstorms of the system, gusty winds as well. Snow levels falling past Shaver Lake as temperatures there will stay below freezing from here. Looking at Hume Lake to get snow as well and this will take until early tomorrow morning, nearly sunrise, to pass through the viewing area. It will be followed by these scattered showers and thunderstorms, which will still keep the roads wet and keep the snowflakes falling in the mountains. Those are with us through the day on Wednesday, and they'll even carry on into Thursday. We get a break from things on Friday, then a whole other system makes its way into our area, which will bring more rain and snow. Already, just through Thanksgiving, which is basically tonight and the first half of tomorrow's when the majority of this is going to fall close to a half inch of rain on the valley floor, four feet of snow in Sequoia National Park, four feet of snow at Shaver Lake, five feet at China Peak, looking at several feet surrounding Yosemite National Park. So snow levels dropping over the next couple days. They are lower for this pre-Thanksgiving storm than the second storm system we're getting post Thanksgiving. Those snow levels will be higher up and you can see temperatures are running a little warmer there on your mountain forecast. For us, the rainiest time is tonight through the night and through the day tomorrow. Then we get something of a break with some scattered showers still in the forecast, but not many Thursday, Friday and much of Saturday. We do it all over again with that next system. The start of the work week next week. Okay. Busy times. Busy times. Right. Be careful. Yes. Yeah, good advice. Coming up here on Eyewitness News, some safety tips to keep in mind.